So not much to talk about on the ATP in terms of rankings, but on the WTA side of things, we did actually have some big changes outside of the top 10 in the rankings because we only had two tournaments this week on the WTA. Let's start with the past results and go through those two tournaments that were on the WTA this week. So as I said, no tournaments on the ATP. We did have Davis Cup, but that didn't count to ranking points, so we don't talk about it. But at the Thailand Open, Zhu continued her good form, beating Sharenko in the final. 6-4, 6-4 to lift her first WTA trophy. And over at the Leon Open, we also had Alicia Parks winning her first WTA trophy, beating Caroline Garcia. A huge win in that final. 7-6, 7-5 to not only beat a top 10 player, but also beat the hometown favorite. I mean, Garcia in France, that is a very good win for Park. So two first-time champions and both got a boost in the rankings this week. Let's go have a look at the players outside of the top 10 before we get into the top 10 who went up the rankings this week. Starting with Zhu, who is at a career high number 41 in the world after winning her first trophy in Thailand. 13 spots higher than last week. Ms. Kova also a career high ranking into the top 50 for the first time. Six spots higher than last week after making the quarterfinals in Lyon. And Parks up to number 51 in the world. Another career high as well for her. 28 spots higher than last week after winning her first trophy on the WTA. So three players with career high rankings in a big boost. And the players have gone down to the rankings, mainly because other players have overtaken them in the rankings while they weren't around. Georgie, she's gone down four spots, down number 73 in the world. Raducanu is down to number 80 in the world, which is three spots lower than last week. And Muguruza continues to fall down the rankings at number 83 now, which is another spot down lower than last week. So three players that didn't play last week, but just got overtaken in the rankings. Let's go look at the WTA ranking for this week. No changes when it comes to positioning, but we did have a change to the point situation. Fiontech, she's still at one with Sabalenka at number two, Jabur at three, Pagula at four, but Garcia, she added 150 points to her title, getting them closer to that number four ranking where Pagula is. Goff stays at number six, Zachary at seven, Kazakina at eight, Benchage at nine, and Rabakina is at number 10, but there is a lot of players starting with Zachary and going down the ranks that are actually playing this week, so we could see some changes to the bottom half of the top 10 this time next week. Having a look at the WTA race to the finals now, no changes to the top with Sabalenka still at number one after that Australian Open win. Rabakina at two, Azarenka at three, Lynette at four, Pagula at five, Bencic at six, but we do have a change to the bottom half with Garcia going up four spots into that number seven spot after making the final in Leon. Zhu goes up to number eight, which is 10 spots higher than last week after winning in Thailand, pushing Goff down two spots to number nine, Vekic two spots down to number 10, and Ostapenko and Pliskova both dropping out of the top 10 completely. And we're going to see a lot of changes like this happen over the next few weeks because the WTA race to the finals is just getting started. So every point counts and every tournament counts at this stage. Going over to the men's rankings now, and we didn't have any ATP tournament so no changes to the rankings with Djokovic staying at number one, Alcaraz at two, Tsitsipas at three, Ruud at number four, Rublev at five, Nadal at six, FAA at seven, Fritz at eight, Runa at nine, and her catch at number 10. There were a few players that did play Davis Cup, but of course they don't count as ranking points, but there are players playing next week from that top 10 list, including Fritz and Runa. So keep an eye on those guys because they are playing tournaments that might change their ranking if they do well. Having a look at the race to the finals for the ATP, and again, no changes because of the Davis Cup and the week off after the Australian Open. Djokovic staying at number one with City Pass at number two. Hashinov at three. Paul at four. Shelton at five. Quarter at six. Lehechka at seven. Nori at eight. Fritz at nine and Rublev at number 10. But like I said, we're just getting established with these rankings. So every point matters. And next week, if somebody does well, that's maybe just outside the top 10 or even someone like Fritz, who's playing in Dallas next week with a couple hundred ranking points, he could boost his ranking and get into the top five potentially. So there are the rankings, no big changes to really speak of on the main rankings. But like I said, the ATP WTA rankings, they're starting to take shape. Uh, the race of the finals, of course, which aren't happening until November or October, November, but it's, it is fun to watch them early on, and hopefully at the end of the year, we can look back on the first couple of months and go, oh, remember how those players were in the top 10 at the very start of the year, and see who actually stays there, of course. But let me know down in the comments below. Are there any shocks to you uh, with the rankings? Are you shocked that maybe some players are higher than they should be, or you think some, you're missing some players there? Where, where's Medvedev? Of course, he dropped out of the top 10 after the Australian Open. He's going to have to get back in there somehow. 